So I want to say thank you for following. I normally should be more calm. That'd be a nice thing, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Treatment notes. Mr. Merton came in a very panicked. Came in very panicked this morning. He told me of his theory that the bread was somehow responsible for the incidents. He then described how he placed the loaf of bread in his bedroom and returned from work to find his bedroom has also been upturned with a singular slice of toast sitting among the mess. He left saying today he would be the day he would he was sure his theory is correct. I proceeded to remind Mr. Merton that he was making some very absurd claims and asked him to calmly take a step back and consider what he is saying. I know from <clears throat> I know from previous sessions that Mr. Merton's home is not in the best kept condition. I suspect he is experiencing moments of realization. Regarding this loaf, I am not entirely sure of the meaning behind it. It is clearly not real, and I am having trouble coming to a suitable solution for him. Regardless, I played along and advised that he shouldn't throw his loaf owl. <laughs> there he has no tea. Both physically and mentally. My hope is this will allow him to stop blaming his situation on bread, and we can move forward with the treatment. The bathroom! A bathroom in a medicine cabinet. Okay. Oh. Okay, what's toasty? Mm, let's just fall out here and see what happens. Come on. Right here. Come on. Whew, that was close. All right, so... Hmm. Okay, let's get ourselves flipping and flipping. Spider toast commence. Spider bread com Oh, why? Does it have to be so dirty? And we are moving. How? Oh, look at that. That is disgusting. Okay, let's get over to the heater so that way we can get ourselves toasted, I hope, once more. Because this is really getting annoying. Wrong way! I'm losing my grip! No! Stop going on the floor! Stop going on the floor! You stupid friggin' slice! This camera sucks! Oh, bite me! No, you stupid thing going the wrong direction! Oh, you stupid mother... Great, it's moving. Yeah, really nice. Oh, come on, you stupid physics! This is gonna take forever. Oh, come. 
Um, on you stupid thing. Well, this is really slow. Yeah, really toasty. Yeah. So, you know, I heard a story about bread, how it's actually bad for your body, you know, so carbo-loaded. Yeah, this is kind of the part where I kind of start filling in some of the dead air with some talking about bread and useless facts. You know, if you cut off the crust, you're actually getting less nutrition. You know, if you actually fell a piece of bread in half, you're actually saving on bread and having less carbs. Did you know that carbs are very heavy in bread? Excuse me, how to drink some water. Okay, where's the cap? Alrighty. <clears throat> Uh, let's get up here, Avante. And here we go. There we go. Come on. Not here. Move, you stupid plant. Come on. Scoot, you stupid slice. Why do I not have to need some super power physics? Not this way, you st get the stupid get the stupid stupid bread off the stupid plant. Freaking useless. <sighs> Come on, you can just. How do I turn on this stupid thing? <gasps> Finally! Ryan Dry. Oh, good. A blow dryer toasting bread. Nothing better. You know, this would actually start a fire. <clears throat> but apparently not. And here we are. Yes, nice and toasty. <laughs> nice and square toasty. Maybe if I get this... Oh. I'm not even edible anymore. Fantastic. Yeah, let's get yourself so toasty. Right here. Get in that corner. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Toasty. The walking bread. Picky eater. Well, I guess having zero is fine. Anyways, next little thing. The next game will come up eventually. The next level won't be so fun, I'm sure. Alright. <clears throat> so, treatment notes. I felt it was important to document today's events despite no official session. As Mr. Mutton showed up at my house, shouting he wasn't crazy and that it was bread all along. Clearly unhinged, I quietly told him to leave his car here and come with me to the office for another session. I rang ahead and arranged security to be ready. On the way to the office, he described how he'd locked the bread in the bathroom, and when he got home, a single slice had still managed to make itself into toast. Apparently, this was all the evidence he needed. We arrived at the office, where I promptly had my men take Mr. Mutton to a secure location. It was not safe for him to go home or be left by himself. He was immediately very distressed, but mainly because he said the bin men were 
arriving tomorrow, and the loaf was in a bin in his garage and had to be destroyed. He only calmed down when I promised to take the bins out for him when I drop his car back at his home. I have already called in some specialists, and I will visit Mr. Merton tomorrow. I fear that these sessions are the only normality he currently has in his life. Yeah. Really nice psychiatrist. Really invested in his patients. Really nice doctor. Yeah, a garbage bin. Shouldn't this be the most dirty place? <clears throat> Can this stupid slice get off me? This camera I hate. And here we are. And up we go. Here we go. And here we go. And here we go. Now! <sighs> and let's get upwards. Let's get all of ourselves out of the garbage. Because that's really nice. Being in garbage. Garbage bread. Okay, what's to heat myself up this time? Hmm. Get myself some over here. Alright, here. Yeah. Ah, there we are. Well, if it's full of the alien use, that would be a pretty interesting plot point. But I don't exactly expect it's gonna be the actual thing. As much as we all find ourselves entertained by aliens. I don't think it's exactly alien bread. Come on, you stupid slice. And... Scoots. Mm. Let's go up a wall and see what happens. Go over here, and we fall again! Great! Wine glass! Falling wine glass! Chaser, what the bloody butt biscuit? Huh? Huh? What? What? Oh, come on! What kind of bloody bug? Come on! <sighs> Great. A broken piece of bread that goes through wood. Uh, I'm about ready to switch over to five nights at this rate. Uh. And here we go. Come on, go this way. God, God, freaking. Oh, yeah, you're not toast. <laughs> Anyone up for a different game before I really lose it? Cause this stupid slice won't move! Come on! Upwards and onwards! And really get yourself right up there. Come on!
Uh, come over here. Get. Did you come on? That is bull. You know what? No, back to the menu. Let's go back to the menu. Let's see what we do otherwise in a different game. I am what? <sighs> All right, time to see about doing a different game. Because apparently this is going so well. Yeah, it's quite the game. So, stream's not over. I'm just going to be reblogging with a different game. <clears> hmm, <throat> let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, would you guys mind if I did a little Five Nights round? I want to try this again. I'll do a little bit of the original Five Nights. You know, because that's all we used to do. That didn't do anything! What do I toast myself on? The bloody stinking stink scarrow stinkle single can't find the right swear words. Ding dong, Dalek dump, dangus, fargan, stupid, fargan, stagan, fargan.